Welcome Pisces. This is the Abundance in Money and Prosperity reading for the season, the Sagittarian season. Sagittarian begins from November 22nd until December uh, 21st. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. If this is your first time, please like and share this video and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So I want to say um, to a lot of you, um, these readings are over your abundancy, your money, and your prosperity. So it has to do with wealth on the overall, what is transpiring, and uh, unexpected things that could be coming up uh, when it comes to your materialistic world, okay? Um, this reading come only on the business channel because... Uh, um, it's all about your career, work, and business, and that's where we cultivate our uh, abundance and prosperity. So, wow, congratulations, um, a Pisces, congratulations. All right, so what we're seeing here is um, this season is going to be very satisfactory for you, Pisces, as we look at the top, we see four different symbols. The four different symbols indicate um, your diamond shape reading to tell you what uh, and which direction you should go. Um, the cards at the bottom indicate the general overall energies for um, you guys. So, this is the general energy for the Pisces. If you would like more in-depth of uh, this reading to understand what is uh, um, how to move forward and what it is that you need to do, you can use the blue button in order to get to um, the other side of this reading. So what is transpiring, the overall energy is very, very good because it's success. You're successfully overcoming some sort of issues that you were dealing with people who were creating um, issues in your world. I see you have moved forward and left a situation. You um, were dealing with a group of people. These could have been friends who were... Um, you know, blocking you on your way forward. Whatever these people were doing and whatever that was transpiring, you have left these people behind you and is moving to better ground, planting new seeds. Now, the strangest thing with the, the card, the Seven of Pentacles, it's a very strange, especially in this deck, it's a very strange card because the Seven of Pentacles is always when you plant your seeds and they're about to grow. Um, and um, what we're seeing here is as if you feel as, as, as um, a situation was a failure. No, it was not a failure. Um, when we begin a reading with the energy of the sun, it doesn't really matter what is going to be transpiring in that season. Um, it is going to be good, okay? So it is a situation where you are coming in uh, in the first week with the energy of the sun. This is just success all over. This is as if uh, you are exuberating. Um, you're so happy with the outcomes of something and really exuberating. And I see that this is what is happening and transpiring for you. So this is a wonderful, wonderful alignment of energy that is uh, going to be exhilarating a lot of you in a very powerful way. Then as we move on to the second week, the second week, uh, you are a water sign. So first week and second week is going to be very, very good. And what is good about the second week is that uh, um, you are going to be finding out something about friends, people who you, um, you know, spend time with and ha um, have pleasure with. Because whatever is transpiring, um, these people, these friends... Uh, um, you're going to be, they could have been creating some sort of an issue, blockages for you. I see you're going to be successful over this and you're going to be finding out what, um, what was happening, what was transpiring and how you are aligned to create the right, 
um, frequency, the right energy in order to propel you um, to a new direction. So it could be friends who was just wasting your time and then you start to focus and take back your power. Um, because sitting on the phone with friends for a very long time doesn't help you to exubilate and to create uh, um, your um, your materialistic flow. Okay, so I see that some of you could be um, always connecting with friends and then you're going to decide, hey, I need time for myself. And you're going to be start focusing on ways and means to create because it is in a creative season for you. And this is going to be good. Then as we look at the third week, the third week is that um, you, no, you no longer desire to leave um, these friends and these people behind. You are doing it. You are moving forward. You make the decision that um, this situation is not serving me in any way. So what I'm doing is that I'm leaving these people behind so that I can exhilarate on my journey to be prosperity in the future. And this is going to be good. Now we have the energy of failure and nothing is a failure. I, I don't know why they use this word failure because it's not a failure because it's about planting. It's about planting something. Seven of Pentacles is about planting. So I always say to people, do not look at the word on this card because nothing is a failure. I And especially when the energy of the sun is in a reading, it doesn't really matter which way it's going. It's going to be coming back in the right direction that is going to be creating a whole lot of wealth and stability for you. So it is um, an exhilarated period for you, Pisces. There is no question about it. Um, you are dealing with uh, um, friends, people, uh, so-called friends. You're going to be finding that these people have been wasting your time and they're the one that have kept you back from moving forward and creating the world and the prosperity that you want in your life. And you're going to be realizing that these friends have been just draining you and taking away from you and not returning I, you know, by helping you and saying, hey, you know, let's work on this. Let's create this together. Let's uh, um, create a wealth together. And you're going to be realizing that you have been connecting with the wrong people for a very long time. It could be also people at the workplace where you have been connecting with these people at the workplace and, um, Sometimes you could have had extra work or make extra money, but you go out drinking with them and having fun with them. And you're going to be realizing, Jesus, if I just take in the extra hours that I was receiving, you know, I would be, you know, sitting really good. So it's it's a lot about um, abundance is about how you spend your time in order to create wealth in your world. That is what it's all about. And I see that you're going to be understanding. A whole lot of you Pisces is going to be understanding that I need to focus on the things that I need to do. It's as if you need to focus. You need to um, focus on creating flow of prosperity in your world. And if you let someone else take your energy in order to always taking up your time, you can never flow in the right direction because you're going to be always having some sort of a blockage for someone that is ex exhilarating and taking um, your time that you could have been doing something else and creating for yourself. So this is where I see that this period of Sagittarius period, you're going to be thinking, hey, I am going to be um, changing, making some sort of a changes moving in this new year 2021 that is coming up because I realized that I'm out of shift with my frequency and my air and um, my abundancy frequency. I need to manifest more. And the thing about it, you Pisces, so um, it's easy for you to manifest because you're always dreaming. So whatever you're dreaming, you can bring into reality. So it is a time 
as you move into Capricorn season because the Capricorn basically help you guys in the winter solstice to help you. And remember on the 21st is when we have the winter, winter solstice and this is going to be helping you guys to align yourself in the correct way and the correct direction moving forward. So whatever is happening from November 22nd until December 21st is going to be extremely good. It doesn't really matter um, how is it affecting your work or in your um, creative life, in your business life. Um, it is going to be good. It's as if you're going to be having some vast um, palpation of energy that is going to be coming up in the first week. And in the second week, that is going to let you realize that I have to let go of certain things and certain people in order for me um, to move forward and create wealth for myself and not uh, using up my energy um, for things that is not uh, viable to give me a better position in the future. And I think you Pisces are really going to be taking a look at your life at this time in order to make the, the correct changes to move forward. And I see that this is going to be very, very powerful. Um, so uh, you have, uh, and this is um, really significant because you have twice uh, the energy of the passion. It's as if your passion is going to be raising. And you, when your passion raises, your creative uh, also raise. And I see a lot of you are going to be looking for ways uh, where your creativity is going to be um, the way to go because you're going to be aligning yourself in the correct direction. And I see this is going to be bringing you, um, as you leave this um, Sagittarian season, moving forward in a positive way. So I would advise you, um, Pisces, to really look and see where Sagittarian is in your birth chart, if Sagittarian is in your birth chart, or where is Jupiter in your birth chart? Um, what is it doing for you at this time? Because obviously, um, as you begin the Sagittarian season, it is here helping you in a powerful way, starting it that, um, Sagittarian season with the energy of the sun is going to be powerful coming through these four weeks. So please remember, um, if you want to see, um, the, the extended of this reading, cause this reading is going to be going, f um, um, further. Um, this is just a general, the four elements make you, you choose the direction that you want to go in. And, uh, by choosing one of these elements, you will open up the frequency because then your spirit guides is going to be aligning you with which one of the readings to choose. So you can always choose one of these readings that is going to be aligning you and bringing you um, to the direction and how to move out of your situation because it's program um, on your situation. So here you see um, the energy is what is going to be transpiring. Um, behind the symbols, you get whichever symbol, and you have to choose one of the symbol, whichever symbol that you're choosing, that is going to what is going to be showing you and aligning you to move forward. Because if you notice, you're dealing with um, yourself, how you're going to be creating and manifesting in order to make sure that your uh, financial stability. Okay, so this is a time where you're going to be um, changing your whole outlook about how you look at things and how you make changes in your world. So please remember to thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Um, leave a message if you will. Um, um, because as we move forward, um, as of 2021, it's about, you know, reprogramming your whole life. And this is why these readings, um, the shift of energies, um, let me, um, um, advise to change up the shift of readings. People need to start creating. People need to understand. So if you have the basics and know what is the basics, you need to choose the direction that you need to go in. And that is what is going to be transpired. Okay. I do love you guys. Please thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And uh, um, share, share, share these readings. I will speak to you next time. Yeah.